What's going on guys, it's Rick Arter here and you are watching the Computer Tech TV YouTube channel. Today's video, uh, going back to AMD Bulldozer FX once again, and they are actually considering equipping the higher end, uh, more than likely just the 8 core FX series CPUs with a all-in-one sealed liquid cooling system. Now, why is this good? Well, basically because a lot of people who are going to be buying these FX series of CPUs are going to want to overclock them. And when you overclock things, you don't really want to use the stock cooler. I know there are people out there who try to push the stock coolers on uh, video cards and CPUs as high as you can. But honestly, for all of us out there who are serious about overclocking, we want to get the highest overclocks possible because really, what's the point of overclocking something by a little bit? Really, if you want to overclock, you want to overclock it all the way. So what they're going to do is they're going to include a sealed liquid cooling system, more than likely. Now, this is just speculation. I found this article on xbitlabs.com. And they're going to, uh, a company named Sunnyvale, uh, it's a California-based company, and they're considering, I guess, getting these sealed uh, all-in-one liquid cooling systems from them. And they're going to consist of a water block with a copper base, large heat exchanger. They say large, but it's probably going to be just a 120 millimeter, just kind of like the Corsair H50 or the equally um, uh, cool it systems. Uh, and basically what they're going to do is bundle these with the high-end, top-of-the-range 8-core CPUs in the FX line. And they're basically doing this to uh, enhance the overclockability as well as improve the image in the eyes of the high-performance computer enthusiasts. So, for those of you out there who don't know much about CPUs and stuff like that, basically they're going to say, hey, you know, this is the high-end FX series chip. Not only can you overclock it, but we're going to include this high-end, uh, you know, water cooler here, even though it's not really going to be high-end considering the... Um, systems that you can put together with you know triple radiators and uh, standalone pumps and stuff like that but considering if you look at what Intel and AMD both include with their CPUs and actually in the article they do say something about how AMD and Intel have been bundling rather powerful air cooling solutions with their chips for a number of, number of years I don't really agree with that now AMD however they do have some nice heat sinks that they put with their uh, CPUs they have heat pipes um, they're really nice units, but Intel, unless you buy the 990X or the really, you know, the high-end versions of their chips, you get just the basic little aluminum with the copper slug pushpin type cooler. So this is actually going to be something really nice, and I think that it actually, if they decide to go with this, should really help AMD. And hopefully Intel will see this and maybe get rid of those crappy, hate to say it like that, but... They're really bad, small, little, finned, aluminum-type heat sinks. So, yeah, this should be interesting to see, and this was on uh, xbitlabs.com. So, if you guys would like to check this out, read more about the article, I'm not going to waste any more time, uh, go ahead and check it out. I'll put the link in the description box. And as always, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and lots more videos to come.